start with the champ, please. Sean, you know, you said quite a bit along the way that the result of that first fight between you two never really mattered. It hasn't held over you. But given some of the emotion this week, some of the exchanges this week, what does this fight mean to you now, and how important is it for you to get this win on Saturday? Yeah, I'm very calm going into this fight. You know, it's easy to be calm when you know you're going to knock someone the fuck out. And you said it, this is a big fight. It's got that big fight feel. I mean, technically, there is one result. So given how big this is, you win on Saturday. Is there a need to do this a third time down the road to make sure that there's no question about the history of this series? Fair enough. Cheeto, I'll ask you. You're the only man that's ever had your hand raised against him. I know there's some question about how the fight went down, etc. But how does that factor into this, knowing that you've been in there and been able to walk away with a victory? Oh man, I'm ready to go. I'm healthy, I'm happy. I've been doing everything. I had the long road, but I'm here. And I'm gonna dig deep for that goal. And last thing, Cheeto, I know it's tough for us to hear you, tough for you to hear us. Just can you tell us what this would mean to you, man? Ten years in the UFC chasing this opportunity. You have become a superstar. The crowd is here for you. What would winning the title mean for you? This is life-changing opportunity. I worked so hard for this moment. It's been ten years in the company, and I've been loved every single second of my career. And I'm glad I'm fighting for the UFC goal. I love to be here. Who's got the next question? Go ahead. Question for Dustin Poirier. Straight ahead, Dustin. Obviously, you're from Louisiana, but you call South Florida your home in camp. So I guess when they announced they were returning to Miami, how important was it for you specifically to be on this card to represent for South Florida? Yeah, this is my second home, man. I lived here for six years. Uh, it's a short flight across the Gulf. Louisiana to here. I'm representing Louisiana here, representing Florida here. Get ready, man. And obviously for years, you were, you were the one, you know, you wanted your shot against these guys and then eventually you got it and then it's been, it's been main events and title fights for you from that point on. Benoit is in that same position now where he wants his shot against you. So what type of fight are you expecting from him when you do get ready for your five round co-main event on Saturday? He's gritty, you know, he, he, I'm, I'm, it's gonna be war. You know this guy has finished his last five opponents. I'm coming to finish him. He's gonna do the same. It's gonna be crazy. Just, just enjoy the show. Similar question for Benoit. Obviously, this is your first round fight, and you're fighting a guy like Dustin who's fought in like the best lightweights that have ever been there. So I'm curious, what are you expecting from Dustin in there on Saturday? Yeah, it's a huge honor for me to fight Dustin Poirier on this card. It's in my home soil for him. Uh, I prepare hard to give him the, the, the biggest battle we can have. And uh, the better fighter will win, and it will happen Saturday night. It will be a bloody war. Where's the first song you done? Up here. Earlier, earlier this week, you declared yourself the best boxer in the bantamweight division. Piotr said at media day, like, let's see who is the best boxer when he does face off with you. So I'm curious, what do you expect from Piotr in there? Do you think he will stand in there with you and just box? He's a great fighter. You know, I'm uh, so honored to fight with him. And uh, he's a top level former champion. But you know, everything can happen in the fight. I'm ready to not knock him out. How about you? What do you think, Peter? Hey guys, in Saturday, I show him who is best boxer. I seven old three in boxing. I have a lot of fights in boxing. I smash this guy. You know. Thank you so much. Question for Shorto. This Shorter. different level. Question for MVP. Michael, you're here in the big leagues, massive press conference. I see you enjoying the energy. What is it like to finally reach the UFC and be here one of these sort of days? You know what? All I can say right now is, wow, the passion in here is crazy. Wow.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring that back to you. Don't worry, Saturday night, I'm gonna bring that back to you. But I just wanna say, UFC has a new MVP. For you, Kevin, obviously we've all seen the highlights. We've seen the knockouts that MVP can do. But how do you think his wins over those Bellator guys rank against the guys you fought in the UFC? Uh, you know, they know. We all know what the difference is. Ask the boss what the difference is. Shit, it's the reason why y'all pay for UFC fights and not Bellator fights, right? I thought so. Question for Sean O'Malley. It's a rare occasion where you're not unanimously the fan favorite. How do you deal with that? And is that extra motivation for Saturday night? He does a fucking pinata. Peter Yan's one fight away from bare knuckle boxing. And Marab knows more crooked than Joe Biden. Let's fucking go, baby! This one's for Sean. Sean Cheeto said his game plan is to go straight for your legs. What are your thoughts on his game plan and are you prepared for his leg kicks to avoid what happened in the first fight? I'm gonna just kick him in the lips, baby. He can kick my legs all he wants, but my, my legs are gonna be on his fucking chin, so 